Hey guys, Silent Steel here. Welcome back to another one shot video. So, if you guys know, um, the last week and I started off a new gameplay series called uh, Tosho Chu Run for Money. And yes, if you guys are following me, you guys will probably know that this is based off a live action game show um, in Japan. Basically, where the contestants escape from the hunters, which are the men dressed up in black. Um, yes, you can call them MIB if you want to, but for copyright reasons, we don't call them that. <laughs> they are called hunters. So basically, this game is pretty much the same um, with a twist. It's a board game style. Hmm. So as you can tell, I've been playing quite a bit of it and um, I already made my own characters and I'm already level 16 with some stats. So this one shot video is basically an introduction at the same time um, kind of like a tutorial for you guys as well if you guys are interested to play this for yourself. It is a free game on the uh, App Store. I'm not sure whether this is available on the Google App Store um, but it is on the I, uh, iOS uh, Apple iTunes Store or in Japan so you probably have to create a Japanese account if you want to play this. There are in-game transactions as well but of course you are not obliged to do so. You can, you can play this for free which is basically what I've been doing. Um, the in-game currency, well, they are called Kronos Gears. Um, the, the game company or rather the, the company in the future um, that Run For Money is based on is called Kronos. So of course they have the courtesy inside the game called Kronos as well. It just makes things a lot easier to understand and of course as fans of the series, you will probably find this well very fitting. Alright, so you can tell that you know you can actually buy Kronos gears. Um, but what do they actually do? Basically they give you currency to help you buy like avatar items or maybe like items like this. Um, like weapons or potions needed you know to escape from the hunters that kind of stuff and of course you can buy costume outfits for your character um, like shorts skirts you know if you want to dress as funky as the contestants on the show <laughs> all right so what do you actually do within this game? Well, like all mobile games, there are day lock in bonuses, which sadly I can't show you guys because uh, in order to access this game, I had to go through it and I had my music off for this game because I don't know, I prefer to hear my own music in the background from my um, iTunes player, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> so, alright. Um, let me just introduce you the main menu here uh, first. So the top right hand corner, it says level. Then of course you see the number 16. That's basically my account level right now. Or rather my character's level. Yeah, you can rotate your character as well to take a look at um, you know, how they are dressed and that kind of stuff. Then of course you can see my nickname beside this gigantic blue box that says 20. Now what does that 20 actually mean? Basically, it is your escape energy um, that you actually need to use to play the game. So yes, it's an energy-based mobile game. Basically, you can recharge your energy. Sadly to say, this game is not recharged based on time, like most mobile games. But this one makes you <laughs> recharge the energy via steps. Yes. Just like Pokemon Go. <laughs> so, I mean, it is about a game show where your contestants are running and walking. So, it is a healthy way to have fun, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so, aside from the nickname, you can see that there are like three sets of numbers. I have 17, 14, and 17. These are your stats on your character, so since I've been playing quite a bit, I've leveled up, I'm able to gain stat points, so here you go. So the first one, 
basically is your endurance or your body strength so I've got 17 stats for the body strength so because you need to be physical the character needs to run away from the hunters so even though you know you don't have actual real life physical strength in your video games but you know you have numbers to uh, I represent them <laughs> the second stat is your knowledge power um, of course you need to be smart you know to um, outwit your hunters that's chasing you then the last one basically is your luck yes luck plays a very big part when it comes to running away from hunters so that's basically it for the stats for your characters so that's as you can see I place points accordingly to what I think is best for this game so if you guys want to get this game a try you can just follow my setup it's pretty much good to go for anyone <laughs> all right then the green buttons the first one on the left is ranking so you can tap that to check your rankings within the events itself yes this game has events um, although you know you end up playing more of the events rather than the regular maps because if you don't really have a lot of time to play this game can't expect you to be like walking non-stop every day just to replenish the energy for this game for myself personally i only play this game twice a day the most you know considering that i will have 20 energy at the start of the day then once the server resets you know i'll gain back the 20 energy again if not you know the amount of steps i've made or taken throughout the day I use that to replenish my energy and of course I'll gain another 20 energy just like that easily so yeah then of course the envelope green icon basically is your news icon so since everything is in Japanese we won't bother with it this one however is um, I would say your ranking rewards I don't know because <laughs> I'm only at like a rookie level so I don't really have anything to be given so alright alright then the last green box or rather the button is basically your daily quest where you complete them and of course you gain rewards now the thing about this daily missions or quests um, they're pretty easy to complete all you have to do is just play the game twice in one day um, basically spending a total of 15 you know 35 energies in total you're good to go but however the last two um, or rather the last three quests here like I'm, 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 I wish I could point it out to you because apparently this game doesn't have like a touch um, indication where I'm touching so that's kind of a bummer it doesn't help with this tutorial at all so I'm gonna read from the bottom onwards to the I guess the fourth last one so the very very last one um, which gives you 100 chronos basically you just need to clear all the daily quests and you will get that 100 chronos years so pretty simple the second last one however you need to spend 150 chronos um, to get this mission clear now in order to get that last mission or quest clear you have to spend 150 chronos which is impossible for a new account so new players don't fret yes there will be a few days that you cannot complete all the dailies um, because of this 150 chronos requirement but that's okay you just have to save up all the chronos that you've obtained through playing the game daily and of course through um, events and rewards and all that kind of stuff once you've finally gotten that 150 chronos you will be set um, for life I suppose to, re to clear all these quests every day so if you count all the chronos available here it's basically um, a good amount to give you that 150 chronos back so that 
mission here, the 150 Kronos clear, is basically fueled by your daily quest every day. So if you don't use up the items that you purchase with the 150 Kronos um, every, each day, basically you're earning, I guess, in terms of item rewards. Yep. So, alright, let's move on with the next important um, quest to mention. Basically, is to use an item once. So, yes, you have to use an item within the game itself once per day. And of course, the next one, the most important one, yes, I'm shifting them to the lowest part so that you guys can have a rough idea which one I'm talking about. Which is basically to change your avatar's look once. Yeah, so let's go do that. So I'm gonna show you how I clear the dailies as well. At the same time, I'll give you an idea what this game is all about. So let's go to the avatar button, which is the yellow one with the character's face on it. Alright, and so if you tap each of this, you can tell that you know there are some clothing options that only come with one free unlocked item. While the rest of them have to use Kronos to purchase. Now, the only ones that are free to change are basically the shorts and the shirts. So basically you just change one of the shirt's colors per day and you've cleared the mission or the quest. <laughs> Pretty easy, right? See, that now there's this ice exclamation mark next to the quest uh, button it shows that you've got something to redeem so yeah all right so since i do have 150 chronos on hand right now to use let's go to the item purchase shop now the one you really want to target is those ones per day so they are 150 exactly as you can tell there are like four boxes here the, the yellowish with red ribbon ones now these are the boxes that you want to target every day. Now, which box is really the beneficial one to purchase? Now, if you are a new player, I recommend you to purchase each of the boxes once per day. Once you've gotten your 150 Kronos to do so. Um, you know, get a, a large variety of items for yourself on hand first. Um, but to be honest, the most useful one would probably be this one because it has the trap gun and of course there's this um, I don't know the dice roll thing so yeah <laughs> anyways I won't explain I won't explain all the items within the game because I don't know this is just a one shot video so let's go in guys and play this game so once you touch the map icon with which is this gigantic blue button you get the maps available for you then of course the highest map on the screen is your event so it has that red color text there with that duration date that is the map you really really want to play because it affects your ranking and of course it gives you rewards that kind of stuff so definitely play the event map so let's do this uh, as you can tell i played quite a bit of it and you know the the information shown here are basically my previous game um, efforts <laughs> so yeah all right so let's do this going in so the game is pretty simple it's a board game style so you walk around on the dots and yes there is story um, with wacky characters just like the tv show but i am not going to talk about that right now we're gonna talk about the gameplay. So here we are. You can zoom in and zoom out of the map. This is the whole map area. So by touching the yellow button, as you can see, it's highlighted now. And of course, you know, to zoom in and zoom out of the map, which is making it a lot easier to guess or to navigate through the areas where you need to head to. All right, so if you look at the map, there's this blue question mark icon floating on another player. Um, they are all AIs. This game is not played with any real-time players, sadly to say. It's a single-player game for your own personal ple uh, pleasure. So, 
yeah, play this game at your own time, at your own pace. It's just something to casually pass the time away,、uh, especially if you're a run for money fan, just like myself. So, all right.、Um, you can access your items from here. There's a whole bunch of items that you can use to disrupt the hunters or to help you,、um, you know. Get through the game a lot easier and survive longer. So right, all right. So let's press the dice roll button, which is the biggest yellow button on the screen. Oops. And it's gonna roll like a dice. And we got three steps now. The thing about this game is you have to utilize all the steps that you have rolled on the dice. So yes. Three is the highest you can get,、uh, followed by two and one. So you have to use the steps. So now we are going to head to one of the landmarks with E M rotating on top. Now what is this E M? So basically, it is the amount of reward money given to you、uh, after each. Turn is completed. So if you look at the top right hand corner, all right, there's this 500 there right now. Then it's added on with the 300, and it has become 800 EM. That is the reward money I will attain after each turn. Oh, somebody got captured. So looking at how that fella got captured, we know there's a hunter there, and you know if you saw the. Quick movement of information that just passed through the screen.、Um, we know there are three hunters within this map area itself, so that's kind of scary. Now, if you notice this path here, there's this signage here. Basically, it means that area is locked away from play right now, so we can only access the areas where the maps are connected. So that's one of the things that you have to take note of when you're playing this game. So let's move on our second dice roll. Of course, collecting as many EMs as possible. We got another three. Fantastic. So let's. All right. So, um, the thing about the map is right. You can plan strategically how you want to escape, and of course, how many、um, locations. Oh, there's a hunter there. So if you get very close to a hunter, you'll see that. Warning label blinking at the top.、Um, it's currently yellow. Basically, it's warning you that there's a hunter nearby. Now, if it comes red, it means the hunter is just next to you. So let's stay away from the hunter.、Um, so we're gonna move to the right, and it's gonna change to blue. Here we go. Oh, we got an increase of 500 EM. That's fantastic. So we're gonna gain 1,300. M per turn. Ah, so there you go. You get the information that it is now red, and the hunter is just right next beside me. So basically, that tells you you need to run, <laughs> get away from the hunter, and not get caught. All right, so let's move away.、Um, currently, there are no missions. All right, so let's move here. All right, we are in the blue safe zone. Okay, so let's go into the next area. Right, so the other characters are taking their turn. The hunters are moving as well. Oh, they turn yellow. It means there's a hunter nearby. Okay, so oh, there we go. We can see the hunter now by expanding the map. So let's move away from the hunter. Oh, so that jester icon basically means. You are stuck at that location. You cannot move, and you encounter an event. So apparently, I got a good event, which basically this、um, bird brings an item to us,、uh, you know, for my collection, where I can use the item to help me escape from a hunter in the future. Okay, so what happens when you land on a spot and you're near a hunter? This icon or notification appears. Basically, it asks you: Do you want to use a net to trap a close-by hunter to stop his movements for one turn? If you want to do so, tap the red button. If you do not want to, and you want to try gambling 
to escape from the hunter yourself, tap the blue button, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap the blue button. So here we go, we're going to take our chances, and the hunter did not move towards our direction. So fantastic! Oh, someone got caught. Oh no. Alright, we have 12 people remaining. Alright, we have earned ourselves 4,700 EM currently. So what will the EM do at the end of the whole game? Or let's say for example you got caught. Um, in the actual live action series, if you get caught, you don't earn a single dime. But in this mobile game, if you get caught, your EM is reduced by half and it is used as experience to level up your character. So yeah, that's why this game is really just a, a leisure play, it's not a hardcore mobile game. So if you're a fan of the series, oh, we are very close to a hunter. Uh, I'm gonna move back to the same place again. Yes, you can move front and back, just like that. That's how you plan your strategy. Now, you notice that another player has landed on my same spot and the character actually talked to me for a moment because we are standing in the same area. If we are on the same spot and a hunter walks towards us, there is a chance the hunter will aim the other player instead of you. Well, that depends on your luck, of course. So that's where your, st your stats all come in. Alright, so we got our first mission. Now, if you guys cannot read Japanese, that's okay. Uh, I don't bother reading all of it. I just need to take note of what the rewards and the risk are if you fail and succeed the mission. So, if you see the bottom two lines of Japanese text, the red one is basically if you succeed. If you succeed, your price money is increased, or rather your EM is increased. Um, then if you fail, they'll decrease the EM that you're currently earning. So yeah, just pay close attention to that. The other thing that might happen is the mission will release hunters, just like the, the actual show itself. So alright guys, let's move our next round. Oh my goodness, one step, that's the worst kind of roll ever. So, let's move to a spot where there's an item or something that we can pick up. So, the blue question mark boxes are random. Uh, it can be a good scenario and it can be a bad scenario. Just like the jester icon that you have during the dice rolls. So, blue button once again, I'm gonna take my chances. Oh! So, the blue icon gave me a box to become like snake. <laughs> so the box basically um, helps you give you a higher chance of letting a hunter not notice you. So that's very good for escaping. Alright, so the hunter did not come towards me. That's fantastic. Oh, wow. People are really getting caught very easily. Alright, look at that prize money. Okay, let's move along. We got a tree. Fantastic. So, um, we are supposed to head to this glowing spot here. Let me just zoom in to show you guys. You see this glowing spot? Yeah, that's where we're going to. So, let's move along. Alright, there's a hunter there though. Um, I'm just going to wing it. Okay, let's move up. So, the thing about the hunters is... There's a trick to how to predict a hunter whether it will come towards you or not. Each hunter has a maximum amount of move of 2 steps. Of course, if you roll 3, that's the best way to escape from a hunter. Uh, thanks to the box, the hunter did not spot me, so therefore he did not come towards me. Fantastic. So now, in order to get to that spot, I need to roll a 3. So let's see whether my luck is there. Yeah! Alright, so let's move and increase our rewards. So, it is beneficial for you to 
clear the mission as soon as possible. So once your earning EM is increased, you can start earning as much as possible, which is going to help you get a very good end score at the end of the event if you're playing for ranking. Oh, so the mission continues on with a part two. Okay, the benefits and punishment is exactly the same. So succeed, reward money is increased. Fail, reward money is decreased. So, ooh, ooh, it's on the opposite side. Okay, so the mission box is the one in yellow with that line, stripe, black line stripes. Um, basically, the number on it, right, shows how many turns you need to get or rather to clear this mission. And of course, zero out of one means you've got, well, one item to collect out of the whole thing. So since there's only one spot to get to, Alright, we're gonna risk it once again. We're gonna be red, standing right next to the hunter. And I'm going to say, no, I'm not gonna use the net. Because I want to show you guys what happens if the hunter touches you. So, this is our chance to escape from the hunter. Now, it comes into this kind of mini games where you basically need to do your best or count your luck to escape from a hunter. If you succeed from escaping, the game continues. If you get caught, well, that's it. And you redo the whole event again from the beginning. <laughs> Alright, so there are items here that you can use to increase your luck. So that number that is increased, as you can see on the left, that is your luck value. Then of course, the other number on the right, next to this box that I'm touching, um, basically, that's the percentage or the chance of escape. So, of course, the higher the numbers are, the higher you can, or rather, the higher chance you can to escape from this hunter. So, I'm going to leave it as it is. 17 luck plus 90% value, it's basically 107% chance of escaping. So, I'm leaving it as it is. So, all you have to do for this particular mini game is tap left or right at the specific timing when the hunter is not looking at you to escape all right there we go i touch the left button i'm gonna escape and once the animation goes through completely there we go we escape from the hunter fantastic so the game continues on all right look at that reward money Alright, let's do this. So we've used up 10 stats, or rather 10 escape energy so far. We're doing pretty good actually. Alright, let's move as close as you can. So the hunter is on the top area. Because the warning icon turned back to blue. Alright. Okay. We got another tree. Of course, clearing the mission as soon as possible, that's always the best. Oh no, the hunter is just right there. Okay, we can still spare a few more turns, we've, we've got 6 turns to clear this mission. So I'm gonna move downwards and collect an EM, at the same time to play safe. Oh, just 100? Oh, that's the worst kind of reward. <laughs> uh oh. Stay away from me please. Okay, we need to hit a tree once again, just to get into that spot. Oh, lucky me! One, two, and mission clear! Oh, we got an increase of 1000 EM. And hello to the new player that we met. So now we are earning 2400 EM per turn. Very good. Oh, part 3. Oh, okay, the rewards are exactly the same. So let's do this. Alright, rolling the dice. Okay, so the hunter is at the bottom, right? So let's... Oh my goodness, he's there. 
Okay, so let's stay away. We have seven turns though, so that's not too bad. They gave us tempo time. Okay, he's just there. And this is one of the reasons why I prefer to play in zoomed out mode. <laughs> So, hmm, I mean, let's move the bottom area. Uh oh. Okay. I have a feeling he will come down to this side soon. Because, like, there are three players. Oh no, we've only got two steps. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. As far as possible from him. Oh, he did not come down. Wow. Uh oh. Someone got caught. I don't. I don't think we can make it there in time. I mean, it's just four more turns. And how many steps there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight steps. So I can, I should be able to get there in three turns if I roll two sets of three. So there we go. And of course, without even giving a care in the world where the hunter is. Alright. Hopefully we can do this. Mmm. The reward money is looking really delicious. If only it was real life money. I would love to have such a prize money. <laughs> Alright, so I just need to roll one more tree and I'm good to go. Oh no! Okay, if I do roll a tree, um, definitely we'll have to encounter the hunter. There we go, we got the tree! Hello. Look at me cowering away at the hunter's foot. <laughs> Alright, so we got 3,000 increase for the EM. Fantastic. Hello. Yes, indeed, we are to confront him. So let's see if we get a different kind of mini game. Oh, the same one. So 17 luck and 90. Ah, we're good to go. No need to use an item. Okay, so this time I'm gonna touch the right button instead. Okay, once he looks away from me. Hopefully he doesn't turn around. Hey! Fantastic. We get to live another day and earn more rewards. Okay, we have yet to use our item for the daily quest though. Now the thing about the blue boxes, um, there's chances where they actually make you use an item. So you don't really have to make use of items that you purchase from the store. So that's how you basically can earn from your daily rewards. Right. So we've got our last energy step for the day before we have to replenish. Let's move to the blue box. Hopefully, it gives us a free item to use. And apparently, these cardboard boxes do not consider a free item. So that's kind of a bummer. Alright, so that's 20 escape energy. Oh, and we encountered the next mission. Oh no. So this mission only has failure rewards. Um, or rather punishment. So if you fail the mission, your reward money is decreased. So you definitely do not want to have that. Oh, so we have this black graveyard stone looking thing, so we have to get our way there. But because we have run out of escape energy, we can't continue playing. So this is where I teach you how to replenish your escape energy from all the walking you have done throughout the day. So yes, if you guys are playing this game and you have started to create a character, they will ask you should 
you activate your step tracker on your mobile device to keep note of how many steps you have been taking throughout the day. Uh, say yes to it and it's gonna help you replenish energies um, for this game which is basically this yellow button next to the menu button. I know you can't see it but it's beeping up and down so you can see I've taken like 45,000 steps. <laughs> That's insane yes it is a lot of steps because my job requires me to walk a lot, so <laughs> why not have fun out of it anyway? So instantly I am able to re uh, uh, re-attain 20 escape energies just like that. Yes, 20 is the maximum. And um, if you're wondering how much, how many steps is it to take or replenish one single escape energy? It's 300 steps for one energy, so it sounds like a lot, but I mean if you guys are like doing fitness walking every day like 10,000 steps every day um, that's pretty much good to give you 20 energy straight off the bat so yeah that brings you to one single play within a day one continuous single play for the day and you play all your daily missions just like that <laughs> all right so let's continue on I wonder how far I can survive until... Oh my goodness! Okay, let's go to another blue icon and try and get a free item. Okay, so this is a good, um, I would say, chance card, like Monopoly. Uh, basically, during this time that you're playing, for the next 10 minutes, you gain a 50% increase in your EM rewards. So that's pretty fantastic. So as you can see, the counter is ticking down. Now the only problem is, if you have run out of escape energy and the timer is still ongoing, and you cannot replenish your escape energy, well, it's gonna be a waste. Alright, I guess we have to brave through the hunter. Definitely we have to re-encounter him. Oops, excuse me. Hiccups. <laughs> But, you know, we could have played safe because 19 turns to complete the mission. Eh, you know, just to make this video a bit shorter, let's just risk it. Alright, show us a different mini game. Yeah, there we go. So this is the second out of three mini games that you can play to escape from the hunter. This is my most favorite one because all it requires you to do is finger action. Yes, you need your fingers, fastest fingers first. Okay, so same thing, you read your um, physical stats. So this one requires your and, uh, physical energy or your physical strength. Um, and of course, your escape chance percentage. So that's why you need to have um, your stats improved to give you a higher chance of escape. So let's do this. So all you have to do is keep pressing the red button and escape. So what I do is basically I use my two thumbs on the screen <laughs> and just tap like mad. Ah, let's go. Oh no! I got caught! Oh, oh that was a bummer. <laughs> so even luck wasn't on my side with such a high chance of escape. Uh, this rarely happens, but it does. Okay, so anyways, after you get caught, like any mobile game, they will ask you, do you wish to continue off um, from where you got captured? You know, you just have to spend 150 Kronos gears to continue. Now, it might sound good because it says 150. This does not count as using 150 Kronos gears for your mission clearing. Uh, I think it's still more beneficial to use the 150 Kronos gears to buy items that will help you throughout the game. So, so far we have not been using any items at all because, well, I just wanted to give you a basic run of the game. So, I tapped the blue button to say that I did not want to use it. And now they're asking you, do you really not want to continue? I'm going to tap the pink button to say yes blue button to say no so yes so we're gonna get caught and yes i am the eighth person to get caught as you can see my reward is divided by half oh 
I gain enough um, experience points to level up. Huh. Alright. Didn't expect to show you guys a level up. So every time you level up, basically they give you three points to slot into your um, your character stats. You can press the yellow button here um, for recommendations. Basically, it's just one to everything. But of course, if you feel like you need certain things higher, of course, you can do so yourself. But I'm good with one for everything for now because that's basically all I need. So there we go. And we did not finish all the daily requests. Because, uh, well, there we go. So we didn't clear all the quests. There are some of them where it basically needs you to play 30 turns. So that's why I said the minimum you need is like um, 35 steps or turns, you know, to clear all the quests. So let's go spend the 150 Kronos uh, years in the item shop. And let me just show you guys um, how to clear all the quests if you are planning to play yourself. So let's go back in to the mission or rather the event. And if you're wondering, are the missions random in this game? Well, just like the Nintendo Switch game, Everything is repeated exactly. <laughs> so the only thing different about each experience is where you spawn on the map. And you know like the blue boxes that you step on. Um, okay to get the items or oh no, why is that a hunter right there? Okay, so 500 increase, that's pretty good. So the blue boxes are the only thing that can really change your experience with the game. Of course, how many hunters that appear. And of course, um, if it's your first time playing the event and you're not familiar with the missions, things might go out of hand. <laughs> and I can guarantee that you will be baffled by how bad things can turn very quickly. Oh no. Okay, so let's go get that EM over here. 400. That's pretty good. Alright, zooming out for a clearer picture. Okay, so we have yet to use an item, so I probably should be stepping more on the blue icons. The hunter is not nearby. Oop. Do you mind? We got a yellow warning. It's fine. Okay. Oh, someone got caught. Wow! Two people got caught. Dang! So, why am I worried about how many people are left within the game? There are certain missions where the other players can assist you. Um, where, let's say for example, there are collecting missions where there are items across the board and certain items are just too far away from you to attain. So players who are within that vicinity can help you attain those items if they happen to land on that spot. So the more players around, the better. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so let's do this again. I'm oh, the hunter is just right there. I did not notice. Okay, we're gonna move away. Luckily, the mission has not started, so I can just roam around easily. Oh boy. Stay away from me, please. Oh, oh. First mission is here. So it's the same mission. Basically, let's just get to that glowing point. Oh my goodness, it is so far away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's dash like Sonic. Okay, and I gotta go fast. Let's go, let's go. Let's collect the EM at the same time. 
Alright, so the other thing you probably want to take note is if you have paid attention when um, I leveled up, my escape energy replenishes itself. So if you know you are going to level up soon, uh, you might want to consider you know, taking lesser steps and replenishing as little energy as possible you know, to gain that maximum replenishment from your le leveling up. You know, I mean, you, you guys played good enough amount of games to understand what I'm talking about, right? Alright. Oh, hello to you too. Uh-oh. No! Okay, let's do this. It is our first encounter. We shouldn't have a problem escaping. Uh-huh. So it's you again. Faster fingers. Let's go! Make our way. We've got four turns to get there. I don't think we can make it in time. Okay, so we kind of need to have all three rows at three. Uh oh. I don't know, I have a feeling that we might not make it this time round. Oh, come on. Now I don't even get to move. Whoa! Okay, so there are there are two of this kind of treasure chest. One gives you like um, basically 50,000 gold or rather EM. And the other one, I, or the one, this one I get, I'm getting is... Um, this one is 50,000. The other one is 500,000, so depends on your luck. You might get a brand new high score depending on how lucky you are with the blue icons. So yeah, there we go. Our prize money just went up by a huge amount. Okay, because we are definitely running short of turns. I need a 3 and a 2. Yeah, we definitely can't make it. Oh well. Let's collect some EM while we're at it. Oh, good gracious me. I'm sandwiched between two hunters. Oh well. Alright. Oh man, they deducted 3000 EM. Ah, oh, that hurts. Okay, so I have not gotten a chance to show you the last of the mini games, which is the one I hate the most. Yeah, there we go. Woo. So let's see if I can purposely encounter the last mini game. Escape from the hunter. Okay, let's go down. Hello, come, come get me. Why are you running away from me? For once, I am running towards you to get myself captured. Oh, someone else looked hasty here. Hmm. Oh, it just hurts seeing the reward money not being increased. Oh, this is a first for me. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are gonna step on the blue icon. Hopefully, we get to use an item. Whoa, there it is! The luckiest treasure box! Woo! Look at that prize money! Wow! Alright, let's keep going. Come get me, you hunter. Where in the world is he? Oh, there he is. Nope. I mean, I could use the net. And then I'll clear my daily quest. 
but of course the nets um, they don't come easy they don't come by easily so uh, yeah conservative but you know this is just for tutorial purposes and instructions on how to play this game so yeah why not I guess later on I'm still trying to get that last mini game <laughs> to show you guys the full um, game experience I suppose We've only got four more steps. Okay, we're gonna land on that blue icon. This cause. Wow! Holy crap! How lucky can this be? <laughs> Look at that prize money. Woo! Okay, I'm. I think I'm gonna purposely walk into him. There you go. Hello. Nope, not gonna use anything. So since I'm standing on the same spot, the hunter is not gonna move because he can just capture me. Ah, oh, come on. Just give me the last mini game already. Run! Run! Ah! Yeah, there we go. Maybe I have to try a different hunter. But I'm running out of steps. That's not good. And if you're wondering why I'm saying that it's not good... Okay, so I'll explain that later. Let me just show you one thing that is part of the game mechanic. After you've encountered a hunter, the hunter will stay at that spot for one turn. That's why you can see that the hunter warning is in yellow. But the hunter does not come after me because, well, that's how the game works. After they have encountered you and you have escaped from them successfully, basically, yeah, you're safe for one turn. So I'm gonna. Oh, I probably should have moved down. Okay, so hunter, come get me. Hopefully, this will give us the last mini game. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> okay, so... The last minigame basically is a, an escape tunnel um, where you rely on your knowledge stats um, to escape the hunter. Basically, you're trapped behind a fence and there's a console where you basically have to key in a password to open the fence for you to escape. Now, um, I can probably show you a screenshot somewhere here of that mission or rather that, um, that challenge to escape from the hunter. Um, they will give you four digits. You're supposed to guess the last digit. And most of the time, the first two digits are an example you should follow. Where maybe, let's say for example, the number 4 is the first number and a 6 is the second number. And they probably show you a 1 and then the last number is a blank because that's the number you're supposed to guess. Now, it shows you 4, 6, 1. It, well, I'm just saying it's not exactly the same as the image that I've shown um, because that's just for reference. Now, the first two digits are basically an example. 4 and 6 so the number is increased by 2. Now if you take that example, use that example to duplicate with the third digit in that row. Like I said, the third digit is a 1 so you just have to plus 2 to it. So the last number should be 3. Now if you probably exhaust exhausted out your luck throughout the whole game already, you've encountered buttload of hunters and your luck is running out well the challenge becomes way more difficult sometimes it might go into addition it might go into uh, minus um, and of course sometimes it goes to multiplication 
I don't know. Sometimes it, it gets tricky. So that's basically my verbal description of the last challenge um, for escaping from hunters. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the basic play of Tosho 2 Run for Money on the mobile device. So I've yet to use an item, so let's use an item right now. There is this energy drink here where I can replenish energy to continue playing. You know, um, they do give all these items to you um, through daily logins. Some are rarer than others because the rarer ones are definitely the more powerful ones. Um, like the gas spray, the telephone escape, you know, was a super net and of course the hunter glasses are the, the most important thing because when you wear them the hunters treat you as if like you are one of them so that's pretty fantastic so i'm gonna use this one basically is to replenish my escape energy should probably only give me 10 there we go so i've used an item that should clear all the quests for the day there we go so all the daily quests are cleared and that's it! I don't have to play this game for the rest of the day! <laughs> but you know, since I replenish 10 energy, I'm gonna do that off screen on my own time. I'm gonna enjoy running away from the hunters at my own pace and at my own style like a coward I am. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this one shot video of Tosho 2 Run For Money the mobile game hopefully you guys uh, had fun learning about a very niche japanese series and game and hopefully you guys are excited for tomorrow's episode of the nintendo switch version of run for money until then guys i'll see you guys soon bye